Well, what's up guys welcome back to another mcoc alliance war and we are still in tier two um going straight to my path normally i veer off to the left but somebody else already did that so going here uh going in with the link up wasn't sure when this was going to be taken down and uh we have dpx so not that hard until you get down to 30 percent uh he does get that power gain so you have to try to bypass it or make sure he doesn't have that much uh power when you get down there so keeping an eye on his power i uh, think he i think he has strike back because of the node as well so i'm gonna bait out that special um you know seeing if if he uh fires that off and he is not there you go and uh i think the next attack should trigger it uh, unless i get a stun here so got the stun did the heavy so i was able to bypass the uh the power gain at the 30 percent mark um let's see up next what do we have we have uh yeah so the next two nodes were were empty so i didn't have to worry about all or nothing on this um that's one of the reasons why i brought in iron man the other reason is because i put dormammu on defense uh yeah for somehow i completely forgot that i used dormammu um in alliance war and i brought him in uh, mainly because as i said in the last war uh we lost seven members so one of them had dormammu and i said hey i got dormammu i'll just throw him on defense and uh yeah went to uh pick my my attack team and saw that i had a uh empty spot there uh, but yeah so i uh, did iron man for that fight went pretty well um i meant to pick uh what's his name i meant to pick hyperion for this fight but i accidentally picked Iron Man, and it, it would have been fine, uh, but I did the mistake that I, I tend to do against against Magneto. Uh, his second special uh, was trying to get back to the to edge of the screen, and yeah, I ended up getting hit by it. Um, so even if I would have had Hyperion, it's a good chance that, that would have happened anyways. Uh, but yeah, I come in here with Hyperion. Um, fire off a heavy attack there, get some, some extra damage, uh, fire off the first special. Actually, really liking his first special at times, you know, the, all those incinerate, um, you know, it's, especially if the node was, was up and you can only take damage from second specials, um, that incinerate damage is, is extra high then, especially if you if you get a good amount of stacks uh but yes yeah see, I, I evaded those second specials pretty easily that time uh just i don't know mistimed it trying to get to the edge of the screen and then evade um i guess i think i said pretty sure i said this in like the last war you can block it i just try to evade it um just that's what i'm used to trying to do uh up next we got loki on the um, bleed node so I'll bring in my Iceman. Uh, pretty easy fight. Um, do I? Uh, pretty sure I go to my third special. Uh, the only thing about the fight is he does get that power gain, and I can attack him after the the um, first special, like I did there. I just don't like to all the time because there is a chance I feel like that you could get parried um, or if you're you know if you're a little slow you could get parried or you can get intercepted I prefer to push him to his second special because that's a lot easier to land the attack afterwards uh, got a nice little intercept right there and I'm going to finish off the fight here with that first special so uh coming up finally we have the mini boss and uh i start off with iceman right here i 
figure out, I should be able to take him down with Ice Man, right? Um, but I am going to make a mistake. Uh, I'm not sure how far in, but it's just mistiming his first special, evading his first special, which has been happening to me. Actually, I've been mistiming um, Cyclops' first special as well, uh, so I've been really paying a price in Alliance Quest whenever I face off against him. Um, I don't know what's what's going on. I just need to uh, practice against these guys a little bit more again. I, I just feel a little rusty fighting them or something. So yeah, what sucks about that, uh, mistiming that, is I do get all that health missing just from that, you know, at the beginning of the fight from uh, from the cold snap and then, you know, right there from the cold snap as well. So coming up here, Going, I'm going to push him to two bars of power because I feel that's easier to evade. So, uh, I'm going to see I evade the first part and the second part. I thought that my timing was right on it, but I guess I was a little bit early. Um, so, you're going to see right here, he's going to fire it off. And, uh, yeah, I got hit by. See, the funny thing is, you can evade. And not it doesn't actually physically hit you it lands in front of you but since you're not still dashing backwards you get hit by it uh, it's it's weird um, but yeah certain champs they, they have that where if you don't get hit directly by something like that you can still get hit by it uh, just like uh, what's their name storm or second special you can it can be nowhere near you and you can still get hit by it just because you're not blocking or evading. Uh, so you see right here that the fight is pretty much over. I just need to land any attack but you see I'm healing up because there is a Nightcrawler as the main boss so you know I just I want to get a chance to fight Nightcrawler so I was like yeah let me get my champ as high as I can with health but somebody else took him down before I can get to him. <laughs> so yeah didn't get a chance to fight the boss, but we did win by diversity, but or defender rating. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.